behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Hey guys, it's your boy xkaven 23 here, we're back with another YouTube video, and as you see, we're playing the World War 2 beta, and, uh, you guys, I posted a poll on Twitter, and you guys, cause I wanted to do a, um, a story time, and you guys suggested that I should do a, uh, my first time talking about me buying my con, like a first time buying condom, uh, so yeah, I was hoping that you guys would have done the uh, cat sex because that was more funnier because it was kind of a retarded thing But hopefully if we get enough likes or I post another poll we can talk about that too But uh, let's get into the story So what had happened was is my dad called me early in the morning and he was all like Yeah, I called me he said Hey son, I know you're getting older now and I know you're getting into women and sex and stuff like that So I want you to go on bike From like a store around a strike So my reaction was like what i was like dad yo chill like nah i'm not into that stuff and he was all like um he was like no i know because i started at the same age as you so i want you to have be protected if you're having sex so prior to this happening my aunt had already gave me condoms out of the blue it was kind of random and i was all like okay so i was like I might as well do it because since my dad said it, I might as well, instead of telling him that I already had some, like, turn him down, but I was like, okay. So, I go to the store, I walk in, it's cold inside the store, I'm nervous, my heart's still pumping because, like, I've never done this before, Pe like, I'm young, people are gonna look at me like, oh my god, what is this, like, child doing in here trying to buy this? And I was scared. I was like, I don't want to be looked. Because, like, the store I went into, a lot of people know me. And I ran to three of my friends. And I didn't want them to see what I was buying. Because that'd be weird. So I was like, okay, we're just going to get this quick and get it over with. So what I did was I I went to the condoms aisle. I just looked at it. It cost a lot of money, too. That's what kind of got me mad. It cost, like, six ninety nine for three condoms. I was so mad, yo. I was like... That's stupid. How? Why do they cost so much? If you like, and then I was like, you know what? It's probably because we're underage. But I was like, yes, yeah, whatever. So um, I was like, all right. I picked it up. I I, I like I didn't want to buy it. So I was thinking about it, like, should I do this? Can I just tell him that I did? But I didn't. And I was thinking, I was like, dang, I don't really want to do this. And I was like, ah, I gotta get it over with. Um, right. So I go to the counter. It's like three people I know, and I was so scared. I didn't know what to do, so I'm thinking like, maybe if I just put the money over the con, like wrap it around the condom box, then they won't see it. So my friends walk in, they're waiting for me to walk with them, and I just slam the stuff down. I, I get a bag of candy, put it over there, and she, she like the lady, she looks like a church lady, like a big, like nice, like a grandma, you know? That's the present I got off, the presents I got off her. And I was like, all right, I was like, this she shouldn't take it that bad. And she looked at me like, I was like, like she wanted to choke me out. And I'm scared. I like my heart. I'm sweating now, and it's cold. It's freezing. The AC is on. It's blasting, and I'm I'm sweating. And I'm like, I gotta get this over with. I was like, um, is there any problem? And she was like, no, no problem. And then um, she said something under her breath. And I was like, I was like, excuse me. And she said, oh no. Um, she said, I've never seen this candy before. I think my kids would like like it. And I was like, okay. So I get I after I get the condoms, I go past everybody just to get home because like that's so weird like i even brought a book bag so i wouldn't have to show anybody like it would like nobody would see that i bought anything because it's so weird because i'm, I'm young so it's kind of weird walking around like a neighborhood that everybody's used to seeing you and like i'm pretty sure if somebody saw me with the bag they think that and then plus they see the big bag of candy they'd be like oh let me get them they reach in the bag and then, oh they see that and i'd be so scared yo so like after that I literally did not want to go outside like I just had to think like I was like oh like imagine like doing something like say you're strict your stage fright you have stage fright and you get on stage for the first time ever in front of a crowd of a thousand that's how it felt it felt like people were watching me that I didn't even know even though they weren't that's how I felt I had anxiety I thought people know who I were and they saw me um freaking buying this and they were disgusted i was so scared like oh man i've never been in that position in my life and i don't want to be in that position ever again 
But thank you guys for watching. If you want another story time, follow me on Twitter and hit me up in my DMs because they are open. Or you can comment down below. Let's hit 10 or 5 likes. Whichever one works. Thank you guys for watching. We're almost at 213 subscribers. And I appreciate what you guys do for me. And hopefully we can do another story time in the future. Later. I'm going to show them how to act. Okay, now pitch a little Bobby, just a younger run around with his man's hammer in his hand, feeling like a man. Run, motherfucker, run, put a pole, pole, get the gun, put it to your brain like goddamn.